How's it going, everyone? I'm the one and only Justin Singh back here again after a bit of, bit of a break. Well, it's not like I wanted to have a little bit of a break because uh, basically my computer died, but I managed to get it repaired with because it was just in warranty still. Got all the stuff fixed and yeah, back in my arms just in time for this show. So, so far, I've heard that there's been uh, some troubling rumors about how this show is meant to go or not how it's meant to go how it was produced that the showrunners apparently hasn't played or they didn't really talk about the game and uh master chief takes off his helmet a lot he uh isn't the main character or something i don't know there's a lot of mixed opinions with like with reviews and stuff as well so as a halo fan I'm going to watch this and I'm going to judge it on my own merits. Oh yeah, one quick thing I just want to mention. My only other reaction type video I've ever made was for Doctor Who. I'm going to do the similar format for this. So if you're, if we're missing out on important bits, I'm only, I'm only cutting to the parts where I'm actually reacting to. So I can actually show you what actually interests me when I watch this episode. But uh, yeah. We're on Fire 52, the year of Halo 1 and Halo 2, I think. Oh, it's that guy. He said Torchwood. Alright. There she is. The supposed main character of the story. Drugs, eh? Wow. This is why you have to stay, Quan, to find shit like this. Oh, that's a phantom. Oh, my God. Now, the moral of the story, everyone, don't do drugs or you get shot by a covenant. <laughs> Scary alien be- what the fuck? Scary alien beings. Alright, let's see. C actual advanced civilization covenant, you know, beings against modern technology. Hey, the chain gun. It's the damn covenant. The winter contingency. They're all gonna die. You watch. The elites. They look more like brutes, to be honest. When they're walking out like that. Oh my god, dual wielding with a sword. Watch out. Wow, I don't know Elite was that strong. Really? Is that, is that all we're gonna hear from an Elite? An elite? What, what, what? Nice. Love me a good little bit of a massacre. Man, those weapons do shit all. What the hell? It's the chief. Really? A pole? A metal pole. Wow. Are we going to see any grunts or jackals or anything else other than just elites? Oh, is that too over budget? <laughs> the hell is he shooting at? <laughs> is he shooting blanks? All dead. Didn't save anyone. Bam, he dies. You watch. There's still one alive. How did I know? Where's the Spartans when you need them? 
Thank you, Master Chief, for letting my father die. Is that a scopeless DMR? What is that weapon? I don't recognize it. Oh, right, I forgot. Alternate universe. Wow, I can't believe it. You don't say. Chief, your radar! Look on your radar, man! I guess he's not moving that quickly to be detected. Oh, jeez, this is like Mass Effect. A magical pylon giving you memories or something. Planet Reach? So this is Reach? What the fuck? Security access, Dr. Catherine Holden. So this is pre-Halo 1. Dr. Horsley. What do you think you're doing, Dr. Horsley? Clear? Clear. Kind of confused on the hierarchy right here. Dr. Horsley is meant to be a part of Oni. But then this little exchange making me think like only doesn't exist and it's just unicy like special like you know I don't know oh I see the AI I believe or is it I don't know oh. there it is hi charity Unknown location, thanks. Very helpful. Why are they all speaking alienese? Ah, mercy. I didn't recognize him. Wait, so if that's mercy, isn't mercy the one that's meant to be like the really old looking one in Halo 2? And then you kill regret wait a pelican has two layers well it's condor i suppose these politicians are bickering about and helping us focus on the real war hmm my gosh you forget about your i'm so confused what her angle is like those elites died because of the spartans also, Miranda doesn't seem like the Miranda from the games here, obviously, because this is all the timeline. Of course, I forgot, so. So if I'm gathering this correctly, how they've made, how she has made her spuns, instead of, instead of kidnapping, I don't know, never mind. Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, here he is, Captain Johnson. Or was it Sergeant Keys? What is it you like? Nuts. Bolts. Microchip. That was a joke. Yeah, no, I've gathered. You know the type that thing was? All of my diagnosis. Yeah, right now. The control systems run through here. <laughs> I need it. Oh no, the mass chief is gone, eh? Well, precisely why the Cortana system could there is no Cortana system, Catherine. So, what we saw before is a human that pretends to be an AI. Man, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Master Chief's gone AWOL, well, gotta take him down. And protect Master Chief. Engage friendlies, ma'am. If they go after Chief, they're not friendlies. Correct, Dr. Halsey? Correct. Damn! Now that's not Dr. Halsey, I know. I'm still confused whether she's an only operative or not. 
if these people are under only orders or not. The fuck is she doing? Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? <laughs> he has armor on, you stupid bitch. What are you gonna do with that, huh? This is Mark Six Mjolnir armor. You yeah, exactly. Titanium, you won't even dent it. Exactly. Oh, he's taken off his helmet. So she has a better chance of killing him. Very good. Very tactical. Very, uh, great idea. My god. <laughs> We've officially stopped being Halo now. This is Halo cosplay. Halo, Halo fan fiction story. Let's go. Well, not help, just not do what they tell you to do. Yeah, why would this button do that? I don't know. Oh, okay, great. I don't like it. Put your helmet back on. <laughs> Put your helmet back on, sir. Is that, is that a Mac cannon? Ah, so it is. Sergeant Keys. <laughs> Wait, that's not a mag cannon, that's an EMP cannon. Interesting. Man, what the fuck is this shit, man? What the hell? Hey, hello music, finally. We're basically at the end of the end of this episode and we finally have Halo music. Bruh. Well, that was that the first episode of the Halo TV show series. And, uh, yeah, that was... Bruh. <laughs> man, I don't know what to think, man. They're, they do have a Halo-esque feel to it, not gonna lie, but, like, you know, it doesn't feel... Right, you know, it feels like a fan fiction, high budget fan fiction, uh, fucking fan film thing. Like, there's so many things that 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 could be right, but it doesn't. There's like a lot of things that are not, you know, clicking. They're trying hard to do a story, and it's definitely not Halo. Like, like it's not Halo as in the sense of the story, because that story, a lot of there's a lot of inconsistencies to the canon timeline. This silver timeline, it's pretty confusing. Not gonna lie. Like the Covenant. This is just before Reach, supposedly. And Covenant are meant to be learning English at this point so they can, you know, learn humanity, you know, and be able to insult them in their own language and stuff. So they have a better chance of, like, winning against humanity. But, uh, yeah, they all speak at alien whatever that is their languages are and not to, not just that the, the position of dr halsey is kind of confusing because she was like basically one of the lead scientists in oni that had a lot of authority uh higher authority than most unice people that's why in the books and in the games she was actually able to make uh fucking spartans and nothing happened until after the war was <laughs> finished and then she's a war criminal i don't know but yeah like fucking the plasma rifle like how it was being used it seemed like the plasma rifle's burst fire, not a a rifle, you know? Like, it didn't seem to be the same as it, as the games. But then again, you know, it's a silver timeline, an ultimate thing. 
So not everything in this is going to be, it's, it's such a cop out excuse, alternate timeline. It's not going to be the same, blah, 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 blah. But you know, this is Halo going to keep some sort of resemblance of consistency, you know? All right. So speaking strictly about story, let's just recap what happened. So there was this small town of insurrectionists of about a hundred people and one of the the daughter of one of the leaders went out with her friends outside the little city to find naturally growing drugs and then they came across she came across a phantom and then she was chased by elites is enough to slaughter the entire town and uh, she was the only one that survived somehow uh surprising it was surprising that two chain guns didn't do really much but then it did at when master chief used it and then um yeah they were on a pelican for a long part of the episode and then there's the unity base what if that is fucking dr horsley and captain johnson sorry sergeant keys i mean you know <laughs> that that sort of dynamic is it kind of doesn't work because that's not how they would act in the game it's not like the games and it doesn't rub the right way with me I don't really understand I don't really understand the intent of the idea behind what they're making with this show with this episode as beginning of a series like this is a show called Halo it has a master chief and they're trying to you know appeal to a general audience but then it has like a lot of fan servers e scenes like it's kind of mixed and matched like and muddled it's like like as a halo fan that wasn't you know consistent with normal halo stuff if i was trying to look at that as a normal viewer not a halo fan Maybe there was something about that to be enjoyed, like as a normal like person not knowing what Halo is, but it just seemed pretty average to be honest. Like, and then like Master Chief took his helmet off at the end. Like, why? Some some of the scenes with Quan as well, like her reactions and reasonings behind her actions didn't seem legit like what a human would do like if i was in that position and everyone i knew just died i'd want to be you know probably staying away from the soldiers that ruined my entire you know encampment but then again where else would, would she be able to go i mean that planet is it is that literally the only place on that planet that people are living? Is there any other cities that she could have gone to? But I would have went to those and told those insurrectionists what happened. I don't know, make, make an insurrectionist army and then the units you have to convince the insurrectionists to fight on the UNC's side to stop the Covenant. I don't know. That would have been an interesting idea. So yeah, there's a forerunner, there's a forerunner object that's literally changing the Master Chief. Sort of like, sort of like Mass Effect. When you touch one of those um, pylons, like on Eden Prime. If anyone knows know that story, how that story went. And also like, again, with the hierarchy of the UNC, like, why... If, if there's no clear cut that Oni is in it, how does, what what does 
what is Dr. Horsey's position in the UNSC right now, and how does she have authority over her spuns that normal leaders wouldn't have? You know, she's not exactly a s soldier, you know. But um, at least sells a Halo music track at the end, I suppose. I suppose, uh, I suppose that it was, it was interesting to see those three spines being actually going against the UNC to, you know, safeguard the chief, even though it wasn't, they didn't really do anything. Maybe they'll show up later or something. And, I know, and another thing, how does, we never saw the rest of the Silver Team reach to the UNC base with the Phantom. It would have been interesting to see what that would have been, what would have been like. When that was that interaction, you know, whoa, it's a phantom. Whoa. Yeah, I just got myself a phantom. It's not no biggie, no big good idea. Like to see the interactions of like normal marines slash ODSTs against the atmosphere of Spartans walking around. Like we're seeing the atmosphere of normal insurrectionists and civilians, what they feel about Spartans, but we're never going to see that. Same side against Marines and Spartans. Like it was only said, but not actually spoken about, sort of. So, yeah, there was a lot of opportunities, but a lot of misses. So, with that said, I am rating this episode of, of this Halo TV series show. Let's see here, basing it on the visuals, basing it on like the general Halo-esque things that were mixed into it, and also basing it on some story elements in that, I am going to rate this probably a 4 out of 10. I think that's probably really the best most accurate rating I can give this episode. I was in bored completely, but looking at this whole episode as a whole, my general mood would be called bored, but it was barely enough for me to be still interested in seeing where this is going, you know? So a 4 out of 10 seems to be a nice, like, the, per the perfect rating for it right now. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I mean, if you could, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, if you want to watch more, stay tuned for more because I want to watch the rest of the series as well, I suppose. And let's just hope that this video doesn't get claimed and shit because, you know, that'd be not good. But uh, yeah, catch you later. Bye-bye.